Question 2 says, gas in a container is at a pressure of 1.8 atmospheres and a volume of 9 cubic meters. A. What is the work done on the gas if it expands at constant pressure to twice its initial volume? And B. What is the work done on the gas if it is compressed at constant pressure to one quarter of its initial volume? So again, we're going to be working with the equation of uh, the work is equal to pressure times the change of volume because the pressure is constant. If the pressure were not constant, again, the, the work would be equal to the area under the PV diagram curve. So if you had pressure charted against volume, if the pressure dropped constantly, um, and that's, that's negative PV, but P change of V. So the work would be equal to this area under that curve. And since we're talking about work on, on the gas, it would be negative of this area. If we're talking about work on the environment, it would be the positive of the area under the, under the curve. But now we want, our, we want our units to be in joules, and so um, our, pressure, our pressure needs to be in pascals, and our, and our change of volume needs to be in cubic meters. Well, it already gives us the change of volume in cubic meters, so what we need to do is convert our pressure from 1.8 atmospheres to, to pascals. And so the, the conversion unit for that is 101,325 pascals per one atmosphere. And so you can just multiply, um, you can just multiply uh, the atmosphere times the, the conversion unit, and you'll get that the pressure is approximately 182385 pascals. And in both parts, part A and part B, the pressure is assumed to, to stay constant. So um, we're going to just be able to use this number for the pressure in both cases. In part A, it asks us if the, if the volume were to double, double. So it gives us the initial volume of 9. And so if it went from 9 to 9 times 2, that's a change of volume is equal to 9 uh, cubic meters. Because that would be the final volume of 18 minus the initial volume of 9. So 18 minus 9 is 9 cubic meters. So the change of volume would be 9. So we can multiply our change of volume of 9, uh, and we can multiply that by by 18, uh, 182,385 pascals, and we can get that the the work done on that, the work done on that gas is going to be a negative because work is negative of uh, pressure times volume. So the work done on that is going to be negative 1,641,465 joules. And then so for part B, it asks us if the, if the volume were decreased to one-fourth of its original size. So if the volume, again, it says it starts out at 9, and then it goes to 9 over 4. So it goes to one-fourth of its original size. So we could say the, the final minus the initial, so we have 2.25 minus 9. That gives us our change of volume. And the change of volume is negative 6.75 cubic meters. Now work is equal to negative, um, negative P times change of V. Again, the work done on the gas is work equal to negative P times change of V. So we can plug in, we can say negative 1, 8, 2, 3, 8, 5. We multiply that by negative 6.75. So negative 6.75, it's going to give us a positive answer. It's going to give us a positive work of 1,231,098.75 joules.